Meantime, new details tonight about the Washburn fire that is exploding in Yosemite, California. The city superintendent now says it was started by a human. The flames charring more than 3,700 acres, and the containment has dropped from more than 22% down to 17%. Firefighters dealing with multiple challenges as crews build more control lines. So joining us now on, with more on what it's like to battle these kinds of massive fires, Reva Duncan, a retired forest fire chief with the U.S. Forest Service. Reva, thank you for being with us. Explain why this particular fire is so challenging. Hi, Nicole, thanks for having me. Um, this fire is very challenging, like many fires are these days, um, but particularly uh, Yosemite is a large, vast wilderness, right? So it's pretty inaccessible. It's difficult to get firefighters in uh, to the fire and then to support them logistically. Plus, they're also dealing with what we call very heavy fuels. So when we say fuels, we mean vegetation. So there are large, large logs, a lot of vegetation on the ground, and that is those fuels are feeding this fire along with the hot and dry weather conditions. It's, it's just lining up to be very, very challenging. Yeah, and we know there's, you know, that risk to the sequoias as well. You know, we've seen more, you know, and stronger fires in recent years. Can the crews and the equipment and funding keep up? Well, that's that's become more and more challenging every year. Um, the federal wildland fire agencies are struggling with recruiting and retaining wildland firefighters due to a lot of factors such as pay, uh, work-life balance, benefits, you know, and that lining up with these years of extreme droughts, um, declining federal budgets, all the federal agencies have seen declining federal budgets, and that certainly affects equipment. Um, they're, they're having to keep engines and other vehicles to support hotshot crews longer than they normally would. Uh, there's wear and tear on that, that equipment, so they're seeing that equipment break down, and that creates its own set of problems with, again, getting firefighters to the fires. Absolutely, and we know that those crews are certainly working so hard around the clock there. Reva Duncan, we thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.